welcome to the Big Dave Podcast. B105, the Big Dave Show, and earlier out with Ashley is about, hey, I don't really believe in ghosts, but I can't explain this. But now we have Chelsea's friend Pam on the phone here. And Pam, what is it that you have that you know is haunted? I have a doll that's haunted. Like a porcelain doll? Yes, like a porcelain doll. Ooh, does it have a name like Annabelle or anything? Her name is Claire. <laughs> oh, God. Claire. Tell them how big this doll is. She's probably about five foot three. Ooh, ooh, that, that's life size. Uh, yes. That is life size. That's as tall as Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's actually taller than me. <laughs> Whoa. Give us some examples of things this doll has done that makes you think it's haunted. Um, I used to have a cat, and she would mess with the cat. Like, my cat would run through the house in the middle of the night, jump on my bed, and jump up in the window so hard she would smack her face. Mm. She would turn the TV on in my family room downstairs. And, like, if I went downstairs and turned the TV on, you would just have regular television. And when she turned it on, it would just be the black screen and the white noise. Mm -mm. Um, Oh, my God. Okay. that I I, I totally poltergeist (laughs) there for a second. (laughs) Tell them about it. Wasn't it your cousin or your aunt that actually would see her in her house? Yes. My aunt came and spent the weekend with me, and my aunt lived on the east side of town, and of course I live out in Indiana. And she said she woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and Claire was standing next to the bed. And she oh, said, God, oh, stop! stop, stop, stop. stop. About it. Every and, hair on uh, my body just stood up. Uh, oh, I want to see this doll. My granddaughter was like 6 years old, and she was really sick, and she was sleeping in my bed, and she woke up, and the doll was standing next to her, and the doll was down Downstairs. Oh. Downstairs. So, so you yeah. kept the doll. How long have you had the doll? I've had her probably about twelve years now, maybe. And you're just gonna keep her forever? Yes, because she's comfortable with me. I guess so. Thanks for uh, uh, yeah. taking yeah. care of that. Well, you've my- had several investigators come in and check this one out yes, too. Yes, I had paranormals at my house, and they ask it questions, and they had the the Dow rods or defining rods, and it could answer yes or no, and they ask it several questions, and the doll was supposedly in the Beverly Hills Supper Club before the last renovation, before the fire. Oh, my God. And, you keep giving me shivers. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> and then the doll went to the house of the people that own the Beverly Hills, and then it ended up in a little junk store on Central Parkway. And I bought it through an auction. And there was a second doll that was bought at the same time, and it was bought by a guy that had an antique store in Newport. And he called, when they went to sell it, they called me and said, did you ever have any problems with your doll? I'm like, all the time. She did crazy stuff. Well, their doll, they would put it in the basement because they used it for Christmas display. And when it was in the basement, like stuff would just go flying across the room in the basement and break against the wall. And there was nobody down there. Oh, my God. And they would go walking past the door and they would hear it talk. You know, you could hear somebody talking in the basement. Now, I never heard Claire talk. She never spoke, you know, but she did do some crazy stuff. Well, there goes my good night's rest. I won't be sleeping for a while. This doll, when you see pictures of it, it does kind of give you nightmares. Maris. It does. I mean, seriously. And I had a friend come and take pictures of her, and in the camera, all of the pictures were perfect. And when she downloaded them to her computer, all of them except for one was really blurry. And the one that wasn't blurry, you could clearly see an orb in the picture. And Chelsea can probably show those to you on Facebook. Can you post some pictures of her on Facebook, Chelsea? I'll go. I'll dig them up, yeah. On the big You know name. I don't like to look at the pictures of that doll. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if we post a picture of this doll, Claire, <laughs> on our Big Dave Show Facebook page, is the page going to become haunted. I, uh, all right. Well, thanks for sharing this story because wow. this, I mean, I was riveted. I'm just, <laughs> boy, yeah, yeah. Actually, she's really cool. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Pam. <laughs> thank you, guys. Tell Claire we said we're good people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my gosh. I'm over on the Big Dave Show Facebook page, and there's already uh, so many comments on this picture, and that is the creepiest looking (laughs) doll whatever I've ever seen. I agree. At some point, it's a mannequin. I'm sorry. It's five foot three. (laughs) That's not a doll. It's a mannequin. Yeah. But it's porcelain. The latest comment is from Ashley. She says, creepy but cool story i would love to know what happens if she's reunited with her sister doll no i don't know i'll tell you what actually i think you might find out the answer to your question in the book of revelations <laughs> in the bible all right somewhere in the, there in the, that's some old testament stuff about to go down there that's wow. all i know